Hey YouTube, Burberry here. Today I want to talk to you about testing voltages on a power inverter in your car. So I've seen some messaging out there when I've been doing research on them where people are saying they're getting 97 volts, 86 volts. What's going on with their meter? I want to show you what's going on. Okay, so right here by my left hand, I have a power add 150 watt power inverter. I'm actually going to be doing a review on this, but we're just going to use it for this video because I wanted to show you what I'm talking about. So green light is on showing that we have enough power to power the inverter and the inverter is happy with that power load and should be putting out around 110 volts out of the electrical outlet. The first meter I'm going to do a test with is an ideal meter. This is a really nice meter, probably runs $150, $200 even today. Um, I've had this meter for years, it hasn't let me down yet. We're going to switch over to volts. Okay, so right now it is showing 107 on this meter. Earlier today, it was showing 94. Okay, so now I have a Syntec meter. This is a $15, $20 meter from Harbor Freight. Plugged in, it's also showing 106, 107. Um, I, I'm not sure what's causing it to range like this. We're gonna turn the car on and see if it drops. There you go. Okay, so that's the cause of it right there. I just turned the car on, now we're down to 93. All right, and just for shits and giggles, I want to show you this too. 92, 93 volts on the ideal meter. And again, this is a high-end meter, a very nice meter. That beeping and vibrating is actually a built-in safety device on this meter. I love that meter. But for this purpose, we want to use something else. Now, you don't need to spend a lot of money to get a true RMS meter. This meter right here is a DMIOTech. I got this from them to do a review of it. If any of you remember... Within the last year, I did a review of this meter. It is not an expensive meter, but what we are looking for is this right here, true RMS. Right now it's auto selecting on DC, so we'll hit select, and now it's going to auto AC, and that meter is reading 116 volts, almost 116 and a half, 117. So the point I'm trying to make here is if you're going to test the power in your car inverter, use a true RMS meter, don't use a regular voltmeter. It will give you inaccurate readings and you'll think that your inverter is bad. All right, so as that test just proved, if you're not using the right meter, you're not gonna get the right reading on one of these power inverters in a car. Um, and when I turned the car on was when I saw the big drop in volt reading. In that instance right there, it was a 23 volt difference between the two meters and I actually was getting readings earlier on that had dropped down into the 80s. So if you've got an inverter and it's giving you low volt readings, you're probably using the wrong meter to get a measurement. All right, well, I didn't do this video with the intention of giving DMIOTech a plug for their meter. It just kind of happened this way, but if you are in a market for a true RMS meter and you don't want to spend a lot of money, give them a look. I've taken that meter to work beaten on it a little bit and used it and really liked it. For the money, I think it's a pretty decent meter and I don't think you'll be disappointed if you do get one of those. All right, well, as always, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you found it helpful and I'll see you next video.